Whoa! There's no quiet places around here to record, Elena. It's okay. I just get self-conscious. Yeah, you get over it. <laughs> it's either this wind, this wind disturbance is gonna be terrible, uh, but. But it's okay. I'll take it. You either get over it or you say screw it. Screw it. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> but as you can see, I am outside. It is a beautiful day out. And I am running my sandbag medley. Now, this is my first time using this sled that one of our members made. So, I am going to apologize about the wind, but it's outside, so I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry, guys, but it is what it is. This is the sled one of our members made. This grass is pretty tall. I was dragging it out here earlier without any weight in it. And as soon as I hit this tall grass, it definitely slowed down. But I'm running with these bags. It is 50 foot distance. So I went a little lighter. I want to get the reps in. I know I can pick and carry a 265 pound bag. I had a 265 pound bag at Worlds, which was load over a bar. So I know there's not going to be an issue there at all with the weight. And I'm going to be pulling it on concrete. So it's going to be like 500 pounds. I had a 400 pound arm over, standing arm over arm at the Arnold. I know that's not going to be an issue either. So it's more about getting the muscle memory and getting the reps in and getting that done. I'm wearing cleats actually. Thank you to the Ravens for hooking me up with those. So get to try on some, try out some new gear and stuff, which is always exciting. But I'm going to give this a shot, see how it works. It is 50 foot down in one bag, sprint back 50 foot down, loading it onto the actual implement itself, the sled. I'm curious to see if it stays. There used to be, these used to come back farther, but they're kind of, they were kind of jagged and we didn't want to cut the bags. So we, so he made some modifications. What he did, he put a, a round, he put a round piece of piping down there so it didn't basically plow the field. I'm gonna get moving on this and hopefully Elliot can do some recording for me. I can try. But I'm gonna get after it. Let's go. Come on, guys. Perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Nick! <laughs> oh, that's not going anywhere. That bitch is glued. Oh, no. <sighs> There's no shot. Go ahead. Come on. Just gotta break the momentum. Yeah, it's of course. Momentum. That's all you need. Newton. Yeah, Physics. almost, man. Almost you only got, got like, like 49 and a half more feet to go. Dude, it's like one more pull. Hit. Yeah. Finish strong. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Bolt the down. No, no. Something's wrong there. Well, there we go again, getting a little ambitious. And uh, I had a feeling the grass was gonna make it more difficult, but it turns out the grass made me look like an idiot. So there's that. So solution to this dilemma is we're gonna load one and simulate loading the other. So we'll take this one right off of there. Now we're gonna see what we're working with. Now it should glide smoothly. Not easy, but manageable. I have a feeling this is way harder and it's going to be on concrete. The only reason that's is because I have cleats on. I think it's supposed to be in the 500 pound range loaded in this event. With that being said, the arm over arm standing was 400 and that was not a problem. That 
does not feel anywhere close to 500 pounds with the friction. It's like pulling something on, on rubber in there. So, do a little brainstorming, see what we can come up with to make that doable so I don't get done one round and go die. Well, we took about 100 pounds out from the last attempt. Like I said, last time was doable, but it wasn't doing what I needed to do for training purposes, so I'm not gonna kill myself on one one round because I'm gonna train the actual event and get something out of it. Here's the hope. It's only a hundred pounds in that. You want to try? Yeah. Now, I have cleats on. I do not. Elliot does not. Sambas. Good. Way harder than you thought, right? That's terrible. Surprisingly brutal. There isn't much sliding going on. You don't build momentum. It's just straight dead drag. You have to create your momentum the whole time and keep input to power, or else it's not going anywhere. Like I said, it's another 100 pound sandbag. I don't know what that thing weighs, but boy, does it get some traction. Yay, Billy! Billy! Hey. Come on! Just keep chugging. Big boy can move. Put your weight into it. Come on, sit back. It's too light. We'll fall over. Go yeah. stand in it. Go stand it's too light, says a 300 pound human. Come on, Billy! Come on, Billy! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> Just keep running. Uh-oh. We got hot, hot fuzz on our tail! Pick it up! The heat's on us! I'm the vibe, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. Oh! What are you doing, troublemakers? All right, so that's about it for the sandbag stuff. That turned out to be a little more brutal than I thought, which is definitely a good thing. So hopefully when I hit concrete, um, I'm, I got the wings of Hermes on my feet. I'm flying, you know what I'm saying? Billy, if you had any advice for someone trying to set something like that up or, or doing that kind of stuff, because you're a front carry, that stuff's your, your area of expertise. What would it be? <laughs> uh... Oh damn! Like uh, something smart and, and and like something moderately just, intelligent that they can take away. Um, work moderate weight. You don't always have to work comp weight. Work a percentage, man. Like and train that. I think that's what's gonna get your. Oh yeah, that might help. Um, most. I think that will help a lot. Uh, I, I got nothing, honestly. Just suck it up, Buttercup. I don't know. <laughs> don't put that on. Elliot, <laughs> let me think of something smart. I like turtles. Counterpoint. Work heavy. Work heavier than you could possibly need to. <laughs> if you have a 265 sandbag, work it with a 350 sandbag. 
You know, there's actually some logic to that. I had an officer. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I had an officer. He was like, look, you have a three mile fucking uh, t run test, right? So you're going to run six miles every other day. So three miles doesn't feel like much. Yeah. And then, fine, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. sometimes you got to work up to something. That's good logic. <laughs> what? That, I, the, the intent was there. Yeah. What did the we logic learn? is there. What did we learn? Just it wasn't the so greatest example. Elliot every time. So like, yeah. if 250 is heavy for you, I would go to 350. I would maybe go like I would work 275, flat, scale it down a little bit. I mean, but I, I kind of, I'm going to stack on what Billy said is, <laughs> is work up, especially if you haven't done something like that before. Yeah. Start out light, there's no shame in it. Yeah. Build up to that point and find something that, depending on how many sets and how many reps you're looking to do, will depend on how heavy you want to go. So it's completely up to you. If, if you want it light and you want to get speed, obviously go lighter. Like yeah, it's, get, work your footwork for sure, man. That's like, you know, that whole sliding slow, smooth, smooth is fast thing for sure. That's what I would say. Footwork is extremely important. So you're not tripping over your own feet and it makes you faster on the turnarounds and the transitions. So all those little things count in putting together a good medley run. But uh, speaking of footwork, Billy and I are about to race on this hill. Yeah. I'm about to eat his lunch. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. So until the next time, y'all know what the deal is. Get out there, get after it, and embrace the suck.